What is up y'all, this is Velarde, and on this video we're gonna talk about how to use side chain compression so that your kicks don't clash with your 808s. So right now I got a melody and some drums. All right, so let me just name this one Kicks, and let me name this one 808s. So there's a really good plugin called C1 compression stereo or mono. But in this case, since the kicks and 808s are low frequencies, and I personally keep them in mono the whole time because you want the kicks and the 808s in the center, I would use C1 compression if there's a mono and stereo choice to use mono for those. Now let's talk real quick on why we need sidechain compression. We need sidechain compression for the kicks and 808s because they're competing with one another in the same low frequencies. You don't want it to be classed like blah, 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 because they're competing. You want both of them to be present so the kick can smash through the mix as well as the 808s. So what we're gonna do now is if we go down here, so we got the kick and the 808, make sure you have the 808 highlighted, then go down here right click this and go to side chain to this track that way the 808s is side chain to the kick and then now we're going to go to the fx slot and we're going to click c1 compression mono this is from waves it's a really good plugin it's useful so what we're going to do right now is we're going to put the ratio at two to one which means that for every two decibels that goes above the threshold you're getting them reduced to one this is compressing it. Think of compression as it getting squished. You're compressing something, you're squishing it. We're trying to get the 808 to duck every time the kick hits. That way, the kick will be present and the 808 will be present. They won't be competing. So the 808 be like boom, 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 and then the kick comes, boom, boom. So this is the kick. So boom, 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 but it snaps back up quick if you have a quick release. That way, the 808 will be right back when it has to hit again. That way, they're not competing with each other. That's the whole purpose of sidechain compression for kicks and 808s. You don't want them to compete with each other. You want them to equally be heard. So we're gonna put the ratio at two to one, which is just two, zero, zero, one. I'm gonna leave the attack release and everything the same. So if you look, this is the current right here, which just means that this is what's currently highlighted in the mixer, which is the 808s. And then you got the kicks right here. Right? So the 808, when the kick hits at the same time the 808 hits, the 808 ducks a little. See what I'm saying? And the way to know this is actually to look here at C1 compressor mono. And you'll see. This shows you how much is actually being compressed. So like if I turn this up, if I just turn something else up here you'll see how much is being compressed. And look how much the volume has gone down in the 808. Because I put the threshold so far down, that means that it's compressing all the way down to that level. So, now I put it back up to zero. And it's just compressing and ducking the 808 a little bit at a two to one ratio. But then, when you do that, sometimes the 808 will sound like it's it's there, but it sounds like if you have a lot of 808s going, like it's kind of dropping down and having to make up for that. So another good plugin to use for the 808 when you're doing sidechain compression to basically make up for the gain that was compressed to make sure the kick had its own space is called Bass Rider. So now we have that here. So I'm gonna put the sensitivity up on how sensitive it's to detect how much volume it needs to come back up to be at the right level. So. And this is it, you see how it's moving like that because it's detecting how low the volume is and how much this thing actually needs to work to make up the gain. The term is called makeup gain. 
So it's making up for what the compression did, for how much of the sound got compressed, so that it's still loud enough. So we're gonna get rid of C1 compression mono, and we're gonna put in Fruity Limiter. Now this is with a plugin that you guys have. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go to compression. All right, so for the kick, put the side chain to the 808, not the 808 to the kick. So you right click here and press side chain to this track, but you still want Fruity Limiter on the 808 still because that is the sound that we're putting the side chain compression on. You want that 808 to duck. We're gonna go to compression. So now when we look at side chain and we right click, we see that kicks is there. And now we have successfully linked the side chain of the 808s using Fruity Limiter to the kicks. So now what we wanna do is lower the threshold. And what we wanna do now is turn up the ratio. Remember I said two to one? A good one is two to one, people like four to one. What it is is like I was saying, this threshold button right here. Um, let me copy this because I like this value. Like where it's so two to one, meaning you see these little transients here, these little humps over this straight line. This is the threshold, the straight line right here coming across. The transients are these humps that are coming over the straight line. So a ratio means like if a ratio is two to one, that means that for every two decibels in this hump, which is the transient that comes over the threshold, this line will be reduced to one decibel above the transient, which means it's going to be compressed to one decibel instead of two decibels being up. So it's gonna be compressed to one decibel above the transient. Think of it as it's coming up, but it's getting squished one down. So what we're trying to do here, like I said, is side chain it so that the 808 will duck once the kick is playing. So I wanna put the ratio up. Now it's at one to one. So now we're gonna do two to one. Let me put it at two to one. So you see what's happening right here? That is the kicks right here. So this is the kicks, these transients. What's going on is that it's compressing now. It's compressing the 808s. So when the kick hits, the 808 is going to duck so that they both can be in the low frequency and not clash with each other in terms of frequency and have a muffled sound for the listener. That way everything is smooth and they all are in their own place but being very clear and noticeable in your mix. Another thing you could do for sidechain compression is modulate the automation clip. So if you go to the 808, right click the volume fader, which is this thing right here, and go to create automation clip. So what I'm gonna do is every time that there's a kick, so pattern two has the kicks right here, right? You see these little things, those are kick notes. So that means that every time there's a kick, I need to lower the volume. First, let me copy the value of this thing here, of the point, so I know the exact percentage. You don't wanna go and create another point and it's like a percentage off, it'll throw off the beat. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lower it. And then I'm going to bring the volume up back here before the next kick. Because remember with the side chain, it ducks, but it comes back up. You don't want it to stay ducked because then it'll have no volume at all. The whole time there'll be no 808 sound. So you want to bring it back up, and now I'm going to paste the actual percentage so it's where it's supposed to be. And then when there's another kick here, right, I'm going to, again, go all the way down. But see, I don't want to drop the volume of the 808 until I get to this kick. How I'm creating points, I'm pressing Control and then clicking to create a point. It may be different for a PC user. So it could be for you, option or shift. All right, so now I've created automation clips for the entire drum pattern. Remember, this is the automation clip of the 808 bass volume fader, but I'm ducking them every time the kick hits. If we go to the mixer, we'll see that just as the first kick hits, the 808's ducked. That's why since we're at the beginning of the beat, the volume for the 808 is all the way down. All right, so let's play it. guys so that is how you use side chain compression for your kicks and your 808s you guys know what to do give this video a like comment down below what was new to you and until then i'll see you on the next video